That's got to go on the rooftop. That's got to go on the yeah. <laughs> the brownies with the, the brownies next to the jack. If you worry about it being on the roof, we can see. Anthony, do you get oh, the no, postcode no. in the group? We're not driving there. Just in case you have a loop spot in the group. Unsurprisingly, on for a not windy and dry day, which is some a rare has been a rare occurrence just recently. So the uh, tracks in the woods are um, are a bit slippy. Um, I, d I don't need to say. Well, I say to people, you don't need to drive carefully. But then we had two Range Rovers get stuck. Mad, really. Um, but I've also found the design fault in the uh, in the hook for the Range Rover. It took an hour and a half to, to dig it out to, to, to do it. Anyway, we're. Um, uh, you're live on your peg, please no ground game, nothing else in the air. There's a whole load of woodcock coming back, but we'd just like them to rest and, and go on to where, to where they're going. So just pheasants. Uh, live on the peg, uh, horn at the end. Uh, please leave your cartridge piles, however big or small, um, where, they, where they are on your peg. So, anything else for anyone else? Uh, we, um, we just sort of boot up and um, it is now, obviously we've, we're, we've got serious supervision there, who's going to give us all sorts of comments and standards of shooting, I suspect. I suspect. Um, but yeah, so we'll boot up and, uh, and get going. We'll try and be on the page right back. Let's go, Jackson. Jackson. Right. 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 Jacks. Who's that? Oh, bless you. Who is it? Jacks, do you want your earphones? Yeah. 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 But it looked like it had been. Yeah, it was blocked yesterday. We went up uh, past Sweeney Hall yesterday morning. Yeah, so um, I do a lot of clay coaching with a guy called Lee Allinson. And Lee Allinson is the head keeper here at Leighton Long Mountain. It's a beautiful, very, very difficult dead man's shoes to get into here. And uh, we're very lucky that we get two days a year here. 
on the basis of my uh, the friendship with him and uh, it's the same team we return with every time you joined us last night there's a beautiful hotel around the corner the Sweeney Hotel we stay there we have lunch and um, hopefully you'll see the footage guys the lodge that they've built here is truly spectacular we're just in Welsh pool so we're just in the start of the Welsh rolling hills so there's um, you know the topography as you can see apart from the flooding it's just a beautiful, beautiful, natural setting. You don't have to work hard. Here we go. Get your hands in behind it. Get your hands in behind it slowly. Go. Okay, that was a very nice move, but again, you're a long way above. A long way above. You shot the, you shot the perfect, perfect clay line, and we needed to get that. Your lead, your technique, everything was perfect, but we didn't go down. The rest of the shot was excellent, your footwork, but we just got to get that line. And I don't know if you can see, Jonathan, on this drive, the trees actually go down, the land goes down, but the birds seem to follow it, so they look like they're flying straight. straight. People misinterpret. Here we go, here we go, have a go, he's unloaded, have a go, he's unloaded. Go, 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 go. Yeah, you can shoot because he's unloaded. Go on, hats, go on, hats. So if you look on the ground here, you see the level halfway between here and the trees, that's where we're going to look to take the first shot, and the second shot's going to be straight vertical. There's not a lot of wind up there by the tree, so I wanted to keep the gun speed Daddy. as slow as we practiced yesterday. Okay? Daddy. Perfect. Daddy, yeah. we're over here. They so, so the big noise doesn't make Daddy deaf. Yeah. Do you want to sit on the floor? Do on a crosser is go to the bird and then down. Yeah. We're going to swing. Slow, slow, go. A little bit more. Okay. So you, you see? You see, you hit the tail feathers. That wanted just a little, your technique, your speed was perfect. It just wanted this much more lead, but the technique was beautiful. Then we can actually start our move before the bird comes out. You'll see a lot of people rush at the end because they're looking up here. We can actually start our swing through whilst the bird is still in the trees. That was literally the perfect shot. We just tail feathered him, that was all. Here we go, look up, Hattie. Shot, Christoph, beautiful. That's the move, yeah? yeah? See how slow your hands were? Very nice move. Good hand speed, that's what you worked on yeah. yesterday. Good training yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Just for you guys watching, Christoph and a good, good friend of mine and his friend Renato have come over from Switzerland to join us for two days. So it's lovely to have them over. I do a lot of work with them over in Germany as well on the clay side of things, but... Uh, it's nice to have him here joining us for some uh, pheasant shooting. That was a beautiful shot. Yeah, good spot. <laughs> that, that is how you do it. <laughs> Just shot, just shot in front of that one. Yeah. Too much. Nice shot, Renato. That was just. Go on, have a go. He's unloaded. Go on in. Again, a long. Go on then. Shot, shot, hats. Nice, nice. Make sure you get underneath. Get underneath. Stop. That's getting, that was a beautiful shot, just getting lower and lower. See how you went down there? Yeah, Much it, better. Yeah, he killed it, yeah. One meter that from the killed. trees. You think it's flying, go on then. Shot. You think it's flying straight. You have yeah. to even forget the trees yeah. and understand that if we get in behind and trail and tram track it, so we put the bird on one line and the gun on the other, so we just follow the line like a train track. Go on then, big lead. Leave that one, leave that one. That was a nice one, Chica. Christoph? Yeah, it's amazing. It's very beautiful. <laughs> the landscape, the birds fly is very good. And the best coach on the world besides. <laughs> well, a well, perfect day and no rain in Britain and Wales. But um, equipment-wise, just so that you're going to get look, look up, look up, look up. Underneath. Good, 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 good. Ah, where did the speed come from? Yeah, you made that beautiful shot. And then you got all the way to the bird and then 
we've got um, two modifieds in because of all the patterning we've done. That's what we find gets the best pattern through these 36.4s. We've, we've got a very high, a very big pellet count. Slow your hands over underneath, underneath. Good, but a long way high. You, you've got to get underneath. You, you just keep shooting the line. You just keep shooting the line. Underneath, underneath. Yeah, we just got to, um, so with these 36.4s, obviously we've gone for a big pellet because we can see these Welsh mountains can provide some truly stupendous target. Underneath, underneath. There you go. Um, and through that half, you know, go any tighter than that half choke, you tend to, the pattern tends to, to start to wean off a little bit. So with these quad seals and that modified choke, you can see it's, it's quite devastating, which you always want to respect what you're shooting at and come a little bit more over gun than under gun. So my whole team shoots a lot of choke and some big pellets just to make sure we can respect everything that's going to come off these mountains. Front, yeah, in front. Underneath, underneath, go. No. No, leave them. See, even there, you went straight to yeah. the bird again. Yeah. You need to go Behind. Oh, and under and under. Here we go. Go on then, overtake. Nice, Christoph. And again, the big one, underneath and left. <laughs> Beautiful. Shot. Yeah. Leave them, leave them, leave them, leave them. So guys, welcome back. Um, the last game shoot we did together, we were talking about feet positioning and being stuck in the mud. Here today, we're faced with a very different task. So we're actually on a slope. Any of my game shooting videos or driven videos, even on clays, this is both, this is for clays and game, is that I talk about the transfer of weight from front foot through the hips onto the back foot. Here, because we're on the slope, it's very different. I actually have to start with my weight through my back hip. So you can see I've got no weight on this leg. So it actually becomes all hip work. So to actually get in front of it, I'm keeping the weight on this back right hip. And then when I go to give it any lead, it's not arms, I push the hips forward, which brings the shoulders back. So it's just a very unique setting. We get to some of these virgin clay grounds and they don't dig out. So on a clay ground, it's exactly the same. Get the weight on that back foot, transfer hips through here to make that move come through. And that will help clay shooters and game shooters alike. <laughs> come on, come on. 65s. Yeah. PBs are early 90s.
It's like a bandolier thing, which is like a tape measure, but it's got all your percussion caps in, and you just put one on and it winds the next one round. But it's quite unnerving. You can see why they invented the cartridge. Yeah, I'm good to see you. Those are quite good to wear glasses. So you can take some selfies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, there were some trees that. Uh... It's just because the bird, there's no wind, so the birds know we're coming. <laughs> and all, but, so if we can just be really quiet going, going down. Actually, the one person I need to talk to about being quiet is over there. Um, and, but, he'll, yeah, but he'll be here in a moment. You can go in the middle of the line then. Yeah, yeah, it's fine okay. by then. Thanks. Okay, okay, so yeah, we're, we're, we're going to peg it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, just, peg nine. Yeah. Yeah, and you just... Yeah. yeah. That's it, fine. So and I'm just saying, it's so still up, otherwise, as we're walking in, it's really dark. So, number one. Okay. You've got a match. <laughs> Um, we just got to um, drive number three and uh, Jackson's fell asleep. So Hattie's had to go stay in the car, so I'm taking her peg. So there's always winners and losers. Every cloud has a silver lining. Well, here, obviously, if they're going to follow the natural line of the tunnel. And the one thing you've got to look at is a, is a change of method. So on drive number two and one, we had obviously a lot of room in front of us to do a long swing through, which is not going to work here. I'm either going to have to use a punch move into the bird and punch the lead, or I'm going to have to make a long, um, start my swing through within the tree line. I'm either going to have to start my move down here or go to a punch move. So it's going to be very, very different. Woodcock. There's a so I actually started out in front of that one and just hopefully, hopefully held the line. Yeah. That's what I should have done last time. <laughs> oh, that's her gun. That's high, high, high. It's slow on him. No, no, it was high. That's her gun. This is not my. This, this is way too short for me. But I just, I that, I just, yeah. the lead was good. I just didn't go down. If you can see it, shoot at it, yeah? There's no restrictions here. I've just whacked a load already. Get some footage of her, Jonathan. There you go, go on, have a go at them.
Lock me. Uh, Everybody? Oh, we tried all that. Yeah. 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 Have you, have you tried this? Try it next time. Try it next time. I'll, I'll definitely. What? You know I'm in the Instagram's working, wife just rang me, it's a sort of shop. Just to test you You might push them through quite fast, so make sure that you have... Make sure you're ready. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right, then we need some... Well, I'll have to borrow some more Andrews for the next drive. <laughs> There's the sheep. Sean and Barbara. <laughs> So I'm Luke Mortimer, um, I'm here with Ben Hoswait and we're helping out uh, Leighton Log Mountain shoot with uh, Renato and Christoph, um, doing a bit of infield instruction and loading and yeah, just admiring the views and some of the birds been shot, so yeah. It's great fun with Luke, <laughs> he's a great guy and... Uh... You're not getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> It's just great with you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. No problem. Cool. Most important thing is to sort of analyse the topography, look at the lie of the land, um, where the birds are coming from, where they're going to be landing, because um, often on a drive like this, it's it's the line that you're going to be missing on, not the lead. Um, so just really paying attention to the line of the birds and yeah, just getting stuck in. <laughs> Here we go. Just in front of that. Sorry, my job to load. <laughs> so big. Go on. It's just, just behind that. So just keep coming, nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Just take your time. Don't rush that first shot. Yeah, that's, that's hit. Spend a little bit longer developing the lead. Right, nice and smooth just over the top. Nice and smooth. Slow, slow the hands down. Just come through the bird nice and smooth. Good shot, good shot. Cracking bird. Nice and smooth. Yes. Good. Just really make sure that nice, nice shot on the first one. Oh, look at that. Yep, that's a hit. Oh, what a shot from Christoph. Hang on, hang on. Yep. Yep, shot. Yep. Nice and smooth. Come. That's it. <laughs> yeah, very well shot on that drive. That was uh, quite, quite a fast drive, quite quick paced. Um, like I was saying, um, some, of, some of the issues, your hand speed's very, very fast. So coming through the bird really quick, pulling the trigger and doing the same again, like a really nice, smooth, progressive lead should open up. And when you see, when you see the same type of bird approach again, it's more repeatable. So if you've got a similar bird, you, you can put the same gap on easier yeah. if you've got the sight picture sort of uh, in a smoother sense. Um, rather than just rushing, yeah. that, that's that's my thoughts. Are no, it's, it's just but just nice and steady with the hand speed. But but yeah, I sure. think that's that's correct. Um, I get in a kind of in a fever. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you should stay calm. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's easy to rush with, because when there's a lot of bang. 
when there's a lot of birds in the sky it's yeah. quite quite easy yeah. to to start rushing your shots yeah. but you just got to pick them out make good shots of them and then you'll, you'll be fine but Excellent. overall good drive thank you so <laughs> it's quite hard to from a coaching point of view to get them to change when they've when they put in good shots it's easier to tweak um but it's when when you've got two really rushed shots that are kind of the gun's just thrown out there a bit it's you're hitting them more with luck than judgment and it's it's trying to trying to repeat that and make make nice moves with the gun slow hand speed develop the lead nice and smooth so and that's more on those like longer crossing birds and yes birds. yeah yeah so you yeah see he, was, he was almost rushing the shot to yes get the yeah. second shot in. exactly yeah. yeah just throw the gun see what happens oh yeah throw the gun see it rather than pick one out make a nice shot at it and then if it doesn't fold up have another go but he was yeah he's quite quite eager to get the get the trigger pulled bless him good driver yeah fantastic drive some really good birds there so and that was yeah. a small one that was one of the smaller We're drives. The big one next. Is this the, so the next one is a big yeah. drive? Right, okay. What's the next drive? I don't know the name of it. <laughs> we'll find out. So the day has happened. I'm actually loading for the wife. One of the guns got sick. Hattie's been donated the peg. So here we are. So Hattie got into shooting three years ago. Yeah. Three years ago. Then we had the family and this is, uh, she was actually just bringing the family here to watch. Now she's actually got a peg. So we're going to see if we can get her under some of these high Welsh pheasants. So we'll see how you start chicken. Then we'll uh, branch out from there. And you better listen. Go on then, go on then, go on then, go on then. Shot! First one out! <laughs> That's that. Right, let's go. <laughs> Go on then, shoot. Okay. Just going to try and speed the mount up a little bit. Yeah. So the first shot's going to be just as that there. We have one here yeah. and then off balance. There, this one there, overtake. Okay, a little, a little, a little. Go. Good, just a little too much again. Oh, okay. pick. The there you go, go on then, a little lead, go. Good second barrel, beautiful. Good second barrel, look up again. Look up, look up, look up. Oh! Look Anthony had two belting double discharges.
So guys, that's the day finished here at uh, Late Along Mountain. We're here with the head keeper, Lee Allerton, a close friend of mine and uh, manages to arrange these days for us every year. So Lee, before I go and close up on the day, give us a bit of background of the shoot, the lodge here and the estate, and the shoot, the estate itself. Yeah. Well, the estate, we've got about a thousand acres of woodland, which is privately owned by the estate owners, split into three blocks. Yeah. And then we rent about another 12, 1500 acres of farmland around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like we own these fields. Yeah. But these are the only fields we actually own. The rest is rented. Um, th it's been a shoot about 40 years. How long have you been here? I've been here since 1995, whatever the maths is on that. <laughs> I don't know. A long time, a long yeah, time. Over 25, anyway, yeah. <laughs> And then it's been a commercial shoot for probably 35-ish years before. Nice, you know, nice, nice. I mean, I mean the topography is beautiful, isn't it? I mean, it's nice, isn't it? I is mean, it? Yeah, you take shade. You, you, you come into that Welsh pool area, you started to get... I just said inside to the guys, the two things you need to throw a high pheasant, a pheasant and yeah. a hill. Yeah, you do. You, yeah, you, you can't do you can't do without either you know either no, one. No. And you you're lucky that you've got both. But I mean there's a bit of backstory behind this log the lodge as well, isn't that? That was built. Yeah, well when the when the estate took it back in hand, I think five years ago now, they knew that we needed a new shooting lodge. So they owned this area and they owned the barns, which is the same as that one there. And they decided, right, we're gonna we've got to make a purpose built shooting lodge. So they invested all their money into it. But it's local um, it's local wood, isn't it? I mean yeah, all the larch is off the estate, all the redwood is off the estate. We just took it away to be planed. The woodman cut it all, yeah, as much as we could off the estate and all local stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. fantastic. And and the lads were a couple of lads were here beating today were the builders that built it. Beautiful. Which are my friends. And um, I mean about the shoot itself, you know, we've got a team today, obviously our we're returning team, but yeah. we've got guests coming in from Switzerland who have yeah. never shot game before. Yeah. Oh, and, aren't they? No, no, no. So that's why we that's why we, we had the two two instructors with them. But right. what I love about this place is you can feed the best and you can feed Yes, you can. You, 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 yeah. can, you can make sure yeah. everybody can enjoy a day here, can't yeah. you? It's not I think just... that's what it is. I think that everything, we've always had a reputation of everything's killable. Yeah. But you've got... You've got to work to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to work for it. Yeah. I was yeah. lucky to shoot one of the drives today and uh, Hattie just killed a monster on that. Yeah, so my wife said... <laughs> on that said, last drive. Yeah, but, uh, she thought she was Hattie. No, thank you for... Not, not for letting us have you and thank you for letting us film as well because uh, no I think it's going to be a hell of a film and we've had a spectacular day and as I've just said to you around there, same day next year, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, that's what we try to do. Yeah, we always try and cover the line if we can. We know, you know, we've got whoever's hosting down here telling me. I mean, it's very easy when you do these videos to say, "Oh, we've had a great day, a red letter day," but we've just had a spectacular day. The weather was fantastic. No wind, but we still managed to get some truly tremendous birds off some of these Welsh mountains. Um, we've tested some of the, some soup, what I would class as superb game shots, and we've introduced two new shots to game shooting that have never shot game before that have already said, Ben, please, 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 can we come back next year? Some of the footage for the subscription page, you're gonna get a lot of feedback on that and how to work on your balance, your core, and how which leg you should be working through for those driven targets. And there's information there for clay shooting. So when you watch this video, I hope you got a lot out of it. Thank you to Lee. Thank you to Charles and the, and the, uh, and the estate here. We'll certainly be back.